My name is Kaylee, welcome to my YouTube channel and my very first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look, which is my everyday stream look. I think this look is super good on camera, especially if you have ring lights or a lot of intense lighting. It's super natural and it's light and this is what the kind of makeup that I wear every single day when I stream. So I think I like to keep it pretty light and natural. So if you're not very good at makeup, this tutorial is definitely for you because um, I myself am not very good at makeup. Um, so yeah, follow along. Okay, so I do like to start with some hydration first, you know, stay moisturized. My skin gets really, really dry in the winter, and so I always try to moisturize or else makeup can look a little cakey. Um, I also sometimes peel if my skin gets too dry, so um, yeah, this is Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I just recently got a new one, so it's very full. I just put a little bit on and rub it around my face. Next, I'm gonna be using Fenty Primer. Usually I use the matte primer, but I've been recently trying out this soft silk primer for a little bit more hydration look again, because it's winter and my skin gets really dry. Then I just go on to some concealer. I use this Fenty concealer. Not really sure what shade it is, but I do like to use a shade that's a little lighter than my skin, just because you know, creates that contour effect. Honestly, I just see other YouTube gurus do it, so I'm like, why not? I just apply it to under my eyes in this triangle area. I also have some redness around my nostrils right here that I actually have no idea what it's from. And I put that right there. And then if I have any blemishes, like right here, <laughs> I cover those up as well. And then once you're looking kind of scary looking, blend it all in with a good foundation brush. I like definitely bring it in towards the in corner of my eye and then I also pull it out so that it kind of fades since it is a lighter tone than my skin tone. And then I also bring it down along the sides of my nose so that it kind of blends in with the concealer that I have around my nostrils. And then sometimes after putting on concealer, like you can see the lines from the brush. So I just take my fingers and I just kind of pat it out. Okay, now I have a very, very round face. So I do like to add a little bit of contour to look a little less round on camera. I think it definitely looks good for stream because your girl has a face shape like a circle. If you can't tell, I absolutely love Fenty products because I'm using this Fenty concealer. It's matchstick mocha, but I like to contour my cheekbones. So I don't put a lot. I just put a little bit lighter. I do my nose a little bit. Look like a deer. I put some on my jawline and then I put a little on my forehead here just to bring it all together. Once you're looking like a psychopath like this, we're just going to blend it all out. Once your stuff is all blended out, you're good to go. This is when I add on the powder because I do use the cream contour. I do like to do my contour before I put the powder on over. Um, that way, I don't know, my face is, doesn't get too oily. So this is the powder I use, Laura Mercier. Not entirely sure what it's called. Sometimes I just go into Sephora and I'm like, give me your best powder. And then so I use this powder. Um, so it's like an invisible powder. It's like a clear white color, um, but I use it under my eyes. So I just kind of put it all the areas that I put the concealer. I use this Fenty powder. I think it's actually a foundation powder, so it is a little thicker. I did get it originally thinking that it was like not this, but it's a little on the darker side, so I don't like to put it on my under eyes since I like to keep that area light. I use this powder for like the areas that I put my contour. It's not super heavy, like you wouldn't, I would not compare it to a foundation if I'm completely honest. I just kind of use it on the rest of my face so that my face doesn't get super oily and shiny, especially on camera with you have, when you have all the ring lights shining on you. I definitely think powder is really essential. Sometimes I keep powder by my stream setup just so if I notice myself starting to get oily, I can just put on a little powder really quick. I got those Asian jeans, makes my skin really oily. But I definitely feel like that's basically the extent of what I do for my skin. Um, I don't like to wear foundation just because it's more of an everyday look and I noticed that when I start, would wear foundation every single day that I would start to break out a lot more. So I think that's just the concealer and contour. It keeps it very light and also keeps it looking pretty natural, natural I would say. Okay, now for the blush. I just switched over to this blush and it's actually pretty intense. So I only use a little bit when I use it, but I do like to have more of that rosy cheek look, especially if like on camera, it stands out a lot more. That's the Kat Von D in the color Poppy. It's a very much of a reddish pinkish kind of blush. I just tend to put it a little like on the apple of my cheek. Well, not necessarily. I guess I put more on my cheekbones. I think that b blush placement really depends on your face shape and you should kind of find where to put your blush based on how your face is shaped. 
because you can put it on your cheekbones, uh, you can put it on your apples. I think that I have a rounder face, so I like to put my blush on my cheekbones to kind of accentuate them a little more. Of course, you know, as every good e-girl does, I put a little bit on my nose. But I like to put it like not necessarily on the tip, but also not on the bridge. Like it's more focused right in between the tip and the bridge of my nose, if that makes sense. It creates kind of like a shadow look, makes it look like more like a cute little button nose. Um, I do bring my blush a little forward, so once I put my nose blush on, I just kind of blend them together. And that way my blush doesn't look like just circles on my cheek, you know? Some girls like a lot of blush. I definitely say I'm more on the lot of blush side. Now onto eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Pomade. Everyone does, I feel like. Color I use, I don't know, soft brown. I do have pretty thick and dark eyebrows. Like I feel like my eyebrow hair is pretty dense and so I don't usually do a lot. I tend to just draw along the bottom of them. Most of the product I put towards the end of my eyebrow just because that's where I do feel like it's a little sparser. I do have thinner eyebrows or I like to have like my shape be a little on the thinner side, but that's just because I think of my natural eyebrow shape. Honestly, I, I don't really have a method for this. I just kind of do it until it looks like my eyebrows are a little more prominent. Now on to the grand finale. Okay, so I kind of switch up which kind of eyeliner I use. I am a big fan of, fan of brown eyeliners because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural. Like if I'm wearing a little more casual outfit, like just a tank top and some sweatpants. I don't really want to go too ham on my makeup. I'm going to do my brown eyeliner today. Sometimes I do use uh, this pencil eyeliner and kind of blend it out, you know, like those TikTok hacks. But it takes a lot of effort and is honestly pretty hard to make it look good. So we're going to use the liquid eyeliner. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I've been using this eyeliner for forever. It's Kat Von D's tattoo liner. I can fall asleep with my makeup on, roll around in my sheets. I have no foundation, no mascara, but the eyeliner still looks great. So I definitely recommend this if you have trouble finding eyeliner that stays on. We're going in the brown color today. If I'm wearing more of Intense, I'll do this exact same method, but with black. It's pretty easy. I feel like I just do a small wing. I used to do my eyeliner across my whole eyelid, but I kind of just keep it on the side. So I'd start by drawing a line like that. It might be even easier to see when I do my other eye. Oh gosh, I think I made them uneven. <laughs> so I went a little ham on this wing right here. So I'm just gonna use a Q-tip and fix it. All right, take two of the eyeliner, I guess. Okay, I honestly suck at making my eyeliner even. Sometimes this side tends to go a little more straight out and this side tends to curve a little up. Honestly, I don't feel like people really notice. Here it is, I do like to do my wings a little bigger just because I feel like it makes my mascara look good and especially on camera. The brown eyeliner, you don't really notice it too much and it doesn't look that crazy, I promise, once we get the mascara on. Now, onto mascara. I like to use this Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. I don't know, I think it's really good for a more natural look, so I usually start with this mascara, but uh, mine's kind of running out a little bit, so I kind of do a two mascara combo. The brush is curled, and it's really good. I definitely recommend it. I think this mascara is great because it really doesn't create a lot of clumps. My second one is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but it can be a little clumpy sometimes, so I don't usually like to use it just by itself. But I do like that more dramatic eye look. I think that eyes make the makeup look a little bit, so it's kind of where my focus lies. When I'm putting my mascara on, I do like to kind of pull towards my nose, if that makes sense, because it makes my lashes stand a little more straight up rather than just pulling to the side, because then they all just kind of look slanted. I think that if you push like that a little bit, um, it makes your lashes look a little bit longer. As you can tell, I am getting mascara all over my eyelids, but I just take a Q-tip to that at the end. I kind of just keep going until I am satisfied. <laughs> I do like that dramatic mascara look. See how it looks once I take off all this <laughs> craziness. Okay, and then mascara is done. I do like to take a little bit of this brown pencil eyeliner. It's like, like the soft tip, so it's not a liquid eyeliner. And then I just run it like only on the very outer edge along my bottom lash line. I don't like to put mascara on my bottom lashes because I think it gives me a little bit of raccoon eyes, especially if I am wearing my makeup for a while. So it kind of creates that effect for the bottom lashes without actually have to put any mascara on them. If you're feeling frisky or you want like a little bit more of a darker makeup look, I do put some like right against my waterline on this side, but I'm doing more of a light makeup look today, so I'm not doing that today. Almost done here. The last thing for the eyes, I do like to have a little bit of this white eyeliner. It's 
Cake Pencil Kat Von D. I like to put this on the very inside of my eyes, kind of makes it look brighter. It'll look kind of like intense when you first put it on, but I just kind of take my finger and blend it out. Okay. So then now I'm gonna spray my face with setting spray. And then let it dry a bit. I use, once again, the Fenty Match Stick and Starstruck for my highlighter. I only really put highlighter on my nose, so I put it on the very tip of it and then on my bridge. I use my finger to blend it out a little bit. If I'm feeling spicy, I'll, I'll put a little on my, on my cheekbones. It's very sparkly. And then last but not least, we have lips. I like to use a put chapstick on Dulce Vida by NARS. Um, put it a little bit tinted. I like that tinted look. I also do use a little bit of this Bite lip tint, but it is very, very red. So I just dab it on a little. I do like the lip tint because I think it makes the color last a little longer because it soaks into your lips, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's basically it. Um, that's my makeup look. So it is a little kind of, I don't know, I think that the winged eyeliner makes it look a little more glam than it actually is. It's super easy, and I think that since I don't use a lot of foundation, it makes my makeup routine super simple. And you can kind of add things as you want. Sometimes, like if I'm a little more dressed up, I'll do the black eyeliner, maybe like one eyeshadow color. Or if I'm not really doing anything, like maybe working out on stream or something, then I just won't do the eyeliner at all. I think that this makeup look looks pretty good, and I think the contour looks really natural as well as the blush and um so yeah thank you so much for following along and 